What's going on everyone? I'm back from my short break and what better way to return than to open a Lost Origin ETB. It feels good to be back so hopefully we get some good pulls out of this. We're going to mainly focus on the packs but we'll have a little look at what else you get in one of these boxes. So let's get into it. The first thing you get then is your player's guide. It teaches you a little bit about the game. Normally you get one of these in every ETB. And into the box itself you of course get your packs. I believe you get eight packs. You do get eight packs. And then you also get some sleeves. Let me get them the right way up with some lovely artwork on the back. So you get your sleeves. Oh, it's just falling everywhere. My sleeve pile is falling. There we go. You get your code. Unlocks a copy of, I think, the sleeves and the, or the card backs on the online game. Not sure. But you do get code. You obviously get your pack of energy get a pack of energy in any box if you open these regularly you all have a lot of energy you get your deck dividers again with some cool artwork that artwork on the back looks pretty phenomenal that artwork isn't bad but i really like that one on the back so you get your deck dividers you get a v star thingy it's i think it's used in the game when you use a v star move you get one of them you get some uh, bits and pieces here, some dice and some counters. And that is what you get in the box. Check that over there. And of course, the main thing we want is our pack. So we will start with our first Lost Origin pack. So let's go ahead and get into it. Excited to be back, opening some Pokemon cards. Going to be uploading a bit more regular now, doing a couple of pack openings and shorts each week it's gonna be fun so make sure you stay tuned we of course will keep the giveaways coming i did announce the winner using the posting the first time i've used that and we would be doing more of them in the future so make sure you stay tuned subscribe keep up to date for them but for this pack we have a sarua a rock rough and a non-holographic raichu some nice artwork on that one getting into our next pack let's see what we can get in here hopefully when well when we did our our booster box opening the two videos on that we got some pretty insane pulls that was pretty cool hopefully hopefully we'll be able to beat it in this opening but you never know you could hit the jackpot you could just get eight non-holographics in a row as we get another non-holographic a sleeping squirrel in that pack i hope i have not jinxed the eight non-holographic rares into existence surely not i should have said we get eight secret rares rather than eight non-holographic rares if we're going to be jinxing stuff but there's no way we're going to get eight non-holographic rares just no way at all horsey mienfu a kingdra that is a reverse rare. Good looking Kingdra there. Another non holographic rare. Maybe I have jinxed it. I hope not. I'm sure we will get something in this pack. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. <laughs> As we get a love disc to greet us. There's the code. I'll throw that away. And what do we get in here? Psychic energy, a haunter. The Love Disc, the Rhyhorn, a Licky a Tongue. I've done it. I've jinxed it into existence. Stay positive. We go. We have to pull something now, otherwise that will be insane. There's four packs left. Four packs to break this horrible streak that we're on. I'm all non-holographic so far. I think that counts. A Radiance DX. We pulled this one before, actually. But we do get a Radiance DX. It's a good looking card. We have pulled it before, as I said. But at least it's not a non holographic. Although the rare is still non holographic. But I think the Radiance DX does count for something. So thank goodness for that. But not even like a normal V card or anything in any of these packs, which is a bit unfortunate. But maybe this pack will change it. Let us hope so. Fighting energy to start. We got a Gloom, a Pikachu looking very happy eating that berry, a Phantom, Pseudo Wudo, 
the partly well at least this one's holographic holographic photo so we do get a holographic at least two packs left and these have not been the best packs so far i'm hoping we can improve <laughs> let's see what we get i mean one good pull could change everything and that's what we're hoping for now we have our four cards from the back with our v star which is the wrong way around a licky licky inke phantom we said that one secret rare could change it how about two not quite secret rares but two phenomenal cards back to back I don't, i'm not sure i don't think that's a secret rare but we do get a center scorch Max and a misfortune sisters in the same pack i think when the, when this set hits it hits hard two beautiful cards oh it's a trainer gallery i didn't even realize i didn't even see that guy there as i said before i don't normally look at the spoilers so i'm a bit more surprised when i open i have opened a different form of this Although not this particular one, that does look very nice. It's very, the horror feather's is pretty cool. But this is a trainer gallery. Look, there's the trainers there, like on its tail. That does look absolutely amazing. Make sure, make sure it's on the screen properly. Kind of forgot to do that. Hopefully you did see it properly. But that was a pack that pretty much saved this box as we get into our last pack. Thank goodness. This box has been saved. So all you need is that one pack and it can save your opening. So hopefully this, there's something else in this pack. We have a Sligu, a Rosalia, a Seal. We have Lost City Reverse and we do get a Drapion B, a bit of the Scorpion Pokemon to end. So a lot better at the end than at the start of that box. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.